All right, everybody. Um, today we are joined with a couple of people from Delta Sonic. We have Emily and Yamel with us today. Hi. All right. All of our students, like um, as I mentioned to you guys already, uh, are well aware of Delta Sonic. They're aware of, um, you know, um, car washing facilities and car washing positions. They think they think they know about it, uh, but we're here to hear a little bit more from you about that position as well as any other at Delta Sonic. So sure. we'd first like to hear about um, what you guys do at Delta Sonic and kind of your path to getting those jobs. Okay, so I guess I'll start. Um, I um, actually started at Delta Sonic 13 years ago. I was 16 years old. Um, it was my first job and I was hired as a Delta technician, you know, the person who's, you see power washing the cars, drying the cars off with the exit. And then I slowly worked my way up into the wash sales advisor position, which is, you know, where you're selling car washes to the customers and providing great customer service. And then throughout the rest of high school and college, um, where I did get my bachelor's degree in communications, um, I was given the opportunity to work in our corporate office in the human resources department. So now I'm the human resources specialist for Delta Sonic. And it's the first job I ever had and the only job for now. <laughs> That's great to hear. That's great to hear for our students because we talk a lot about um, if you do a good job, right? Then you have opportunities at a lot of places to move oh, up. Yeah. So it's yeah. great to see an example of that. That's wonderful to hear. Yeah, majority of our upper management have actually been hired from within and have, oh, a lot of them have been here very long term. So it's, it's really easy to move up as long as you're dedicated. So yeah. great. Well, I started, well, actually, um, I went to UB. So I didn't start within the company. I went to UB and I got my bachelor's in psychology and I knew that I wanted to be in HR. So then I came upon an application for a recruiter here at Delta Sonic in their HR department and I applied and then I got the job. <laughs> so I've been here ever since and I love it. And how long, how long ago did you say? How long have you been there? Um, I would say eight months maybe. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, so you're so fresh into the process. Yeah, I am. I'm oh, so well, congratulations. Excited. Thank you. Yeah, great, great. So, so that's, that's your story. I'm sure there's other positions within Delta Sonic that you can share with us as well. And uh, maybe when you mention one, just, just say like a good skill to have for that job as well. Yeah, um, so for like entry level positions here, we have Delta Techs, which she talked about, which is what she started with. Um, and those are the people that um, power wash the cars. They like detail them. They um, dry them off exits so i would say a good skill to have um for a delta type would be you know friendly social um detail oriented multitask a lot mm -hmm. um and then the another opening position that we have is a wash sales advisor well first you would become a delta tech and then from delta tech you would move to a wash sales advisor which is what she did yeah and um for that one it would be just the same skills as a delta tech but just a little bit more intensified because you are being more social and you are like more present with the customers that Delta Tech would be. So. Okay, we talked a lot about communication skills. It sounds like right, right, right. right. It's very important yeah. for sure. Okay, great. So what 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 other positions are at Delta Sonic in general? So we have positions. So we have a Delta Tech. We have a watch sales advisors. We have operations specialists. We have positions in the convenience store. Um, so like store hospitality, which includes like um convenience store cashier, food service, um, and then you can move your way up to like each department. You could be a manager, trainee, senior manager. So you just work your way up in the company, depending on where you would want to go. Okay. And I'm not sure if all of them do this, but don't some of them also have uh, people who do oil changes? We have some students who yeah. are interested yeah, in Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's oil them. change technicians, there's mechanics, there's auto repair technicians. Yeah. So there's just like anything really. Okay. Yep. That actually leads me into one of my um, a question from a student is what kind of training is provided by you? So if somebody came, do they get on the job training? Should they know something already coming in? Um, well, for entry level positions, um, the first thing that you would do is you go to KISS University, which is our orientation. And then it's divided into two or three days of 
some four to eight hour training about how to use the power wash guns, how to tr properly dry off a car while keeping yourself safe from any, you know, keeping yourself aware of what's going on around you so you're not getting squished and, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. How to use the vacuum cleaners, how to, you know, properly spray the chemicals so you don't get them in your face, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, nothing that, none of our positions require any specialized training. Um, we will train you for everything. So we will make sure that, you know, if, if you end up becoming, you know, part of our soap plan in Buffalo and, you know, that requires you to drive a forklift, we will get you trained on the forklift, we'll get you the certification. So everything that we do, we train in-house for and we make sure that, you know, you are safe and know what you're doing to, to be the most effective employee that you can be. Okay, excellent, excellent. That, that's cool that you have your own little mini university that, that people yeah. would attend. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's cool. I like that. All right. So another question was, um, how old do uh, students need to be? Or not even um, students, but how old do you need to be to work there? Um, so we start at 16, um, 16 with a work permit, and then we just go up from there. So it'd be really great, like, you know, a good place to start. Mm -hmm. you know, and are, are there certain jobs that a 16-year-old is allowed to do, but not, they're not allowed to do other jobs, I imagine? Yeah, so for example, I mean, a 16 year old would preferably work as a Delta tech. Um, they really, and then 18 years and up would only work in like the convenience store, food service and stuff like that. So Delta techs would be for 16 year olds, yeah. Okay, great. Let's see what else we have on our list here. Uh, we talked about training, we talked about age. Um, what hours do people work? Are, is Delta Sonic open 24 hours or can you tell us more <laughs> about the hours? So um, it varies by market and region, but um, most of the Syracuse locations are open. Um, the, the store kind of dictates the hours that we're open. The car wash is open a little bit shorter. The detail shop is open even shorter than that. But basically, we're open from about 6 a.m. to 10 or 11 p.m., depending. I think Fairmount, our Fairmount locations open a little bit later. But most locations close around 10 or 11. Um, and as far as, like, hours that people work, um, we're so flexible. Um, we're flexible with school. We're flexible with you know, extracurricular activities, we're flexible with um, anything that you need us to be flexible with. Um, we are based on a call-in scheduling. So it's kind of based around the weather. Um, if it's, say it's raining one day, um, you know, you call an hour before your shift for every single shift as an entry-level position. So you call an hour before your shift. And if it's like sunny day and we're super busy, you might get brought right in at, at the time that you're supposed to come in. Or they can say, give us a call back in an hour and we'll reevaluate with the weather. If it's raining and we have no customers, you know, we might not need you. You And then you'll get the day off, which oh. is a benefit for some people because, you know, if you want to study, you can call me like, hey, it's raining. I need to study. You know, can I get the day off today? And they're like, oh, yeah, sure. Um, also, you make your own schedule. So you provide the availability to us and we work around your availability. So yeah it's really cool like you can work five o'clock 5 p.m to close or 6 a.m to 10 a.m you know it it's just we have availability all over the place okay that, that kind of leads me into my next question do you have part-time and full-time employees or is everybody part-time how does that work yeah i mean i feel like it depends on the employee right yeah so, i mean if you want to be part-time we'll put you part-time if you want to be full-time you'll be full-time um, it just also depends on what position you have as well. Mm -hmm. um, if you're 16, there's like a certain amount of hours you're supposed to work. So it just depends on you, I guess. Yep. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about uh, working papers in our classes soon and those, those limitations that some of the students yeah. have. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, let's see what else we have on here. Uh, we talked a little bit about some of the equipment that they use. What about holidays? Are you open on holidays as well? Some students wanted to know. Um, so we're open, we're not open on Christmas Day or Thanksgiving Day, which is great. Um, but we are open like you know the day before Christmas, but we close earlier. Yep, we close, we close earlier, earlier, like Easter. Mm -hmm. Easter we're open, but the hours are limited. Right. July fourth. Mm -hmm. Um, the only days we're actually closed is Christmas and Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving. But okay. we're pretty much open all, right. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good for the customers who need that early morning wash or late night wash. Yeah. I know. Yeah. All right. Um, so 
in your positions, do you do some of the interviewing for people yeah. who are going to be hired? Yep. So we always like to uh, kind of wind down our, our interviews with uh, hearing an interview do and an interview don't. Just something that you would suggest people make sure they do or, you know, totally try to avoid. Okay. Well, um, we, we have a couple, um, but they, you know, they all mesh into one, but um, for the interview dues, you know, we like when people arrive early, prepared, ready to go. And then um, when you're in the interview, you know, maintain eye contact, smile, have a positive attitude, posi right. you know, positive energy towards yeah. us. You yeah. Know? I mean, like, I, I guess just like, I know it's hard to say, but I guess just feel comfortable as um, much as you can right it's it's <laughs> nerve-wracking i know but take um, deep breaths right i mean we're people too so i mean if anything we're nervous too yeah, okay. yeah the, okay. interview That's good to know. the interviewer is nervous too most right. of the time so right. Right. All right. we can be nervous together but just like <laughs> It's yeah. okay. And yeah, then, yeah. I'm um, good nervous. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For the don'ts, um, one of the things we see a lot, especially um, with our entry level position interviews, is gum chewing and yeah. like mints and stuff, mm -hmm. and it's really distracting on us. Mm -hmm. We think it distracts the, the you know, the interviewee, yeah. and you know, the gum thing is just kind of really distracting. Right. And then obviously come prepared. You know, have a copy of your resume, even if it's just school stuff. You haven't had a job. You know, interests that you have, skills that you have, classes that you've taken that are relevant to, you know, communication right. or even car stuff. Right. You know, we like to see all that. Right. Sports you've played, teamwork, all that kind of stuff. All right. I think that that was officially the best interview news we've ever had in our interview. <laughs> Especially the gum, never knew that was a lot. That was a lot. It's going in all my trainings now, though. <laughs> no gum. Nice. nice. Okay, so um, that's really all we have on our side. Any last comments from you or anything we all said on you? You guys did a great job of, of describing the jobs and, and you know what it takes to be a good employee there. So I, I thank you so much. Yeah. Any parting words for our students? Perfect. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. So much. We appreciate okay. it. Come work for us. <laughs> <laughs> we will work on that. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye.